Hey guys, Jared Lloyd here. Uh, tonight I want to talk to you a little bit about sharpening our wildlife photographs in Lightroom. Now, as wildlife photographers, more often than not, we're not really interested in sharpening the entire photograph. Uh, typically, we're just looking to sharpen the subjects of our photographs, such as this redhead duck right here from the Chesapeake Bay. So what I want to do is show you how I like to use Lightroom's detail panel to come in and only select the key parts of a photograph that I want to sharpen. Now you can see here that I'm already in Lightroom and I'm already in the develop module. I've gone ahead and scrolled down to the details panel as you can see right here and right underneath of the photograph you'll find the word sharpening. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to masking and I'm going to hold down the alt key if I'm using a PC which I am at the moment or the option key if I happen to be using my MacBook Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and click and hold down alt right now and you can see above it turned uh, it it uh, restated this as reset sharpening. Now what I'm going to do, still holding down the Alt key, I'm going to click on the little arrow here and that turns the entire screen white. Now the important thing for you to remember here is that everything that is white is going to be sharpened and everything that is black is not going to be sharpened. And so as I slowly but surely start to drag this masking slider over, you can see that the water around and behind my duck starts to turn to black. And so ultimately what Lightroom is doing here is it's trying to select like pixels. So that way you can kind of decide or ultimately tell Lightroom what to and not to sharpen when you start to adjust the, uh, the, the amount slider just above there. And so if I bring it all the way over, you can see we kind of come down to a little more than just an outline. Now that's not enough sharpening. I want a little bit more than that. So I'm going to start to back it off here. And uh, as you can see, I'm starting to pick up a little bit of water. Uh, and that's fine. That's, that's not a big deal. Um, the main thing is I want as much detail in the duck as possible and as little detail in the water as possible. So it's kind of really a matter of trying to find something that looks like a happy medium here. And I'm going to say somewhere in this neighborhood of about 40 is going to be my best bet right now. So I'm going to go ahead and release both the Alt key and the, uh, the mouse pad here and come back up to sharpening. Now, when I come in and I raise my sharpening amount, all I'm doing is affecting those areas that were actually turned white when I had when I was adjusting the masking. And I'm going to hit that one more time for you to be able to see the Alt key. And then I'm going to click my mouse. And as you can see, just the areas now are being sharpened as I increase the amount. Uh, so this is a pretty, uh, pretty simple way of selecting our subjects. It's a little bit more potent, if you will, than coming into the adjustment brush and uh, selecting the areas and turning up the sharpening there. Uh, for whatever reason, Lightroom, or excuse me, Adobe, uh, decided that it didn't want to give us too much control over the individual sliders in the adjustment brush. And so the changes that we make with that usually tend to be quite subtle, whereas when we make changes down here universally in the, uh, in the various palettes in the develop module, they tend Tend to be a lot stronger and have a lot greater effect on our photographs and so that's why I just skip over the adjustment brush in terms of sharpening I come right down here to details and I go ahead and turn up the masking uh, again holding down the alt or option key to make sure I can see exactly what I'm selecting and then crank up my sharpening from there uh, hopefully this helps you guys and uh, if you have another method that you like to use for sharpening in Lightroom uh, please let me know and I'd be more than happy to excuse me more than happy to show that next time. You guys have a good night.